Your looks are laughable. The Turner Prize. Neither use nor ornament, according to some. Yet you're my favorite work of art. But that might be about to change. Whatever else the critics might say about this year's entry from a young architects collective called Assemble, it ain't useless. This is like an edition of Bake Off I Missed. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it's not edible, uh, at least, okay. Fancy a Barbie, Toxteth style. With a timely austerity aesthetic, assemble and volunteer helpers are making household fittings out of the waste left by dereliction. We'll put another doorknob in here mm. and, we, you know, put um, leaves in here. Because when the actual uh, burning process takes place, you get these wonderful patterns of, of the, the veins of the, of the leaf on, really? on, the, on the ceramic surface, which is quite beautiful. Did you ever think you'd be doing this? No. Wrapping doorknobs <laughs> in banana leaves? Uh, we tried banana skins, we've tried feathers, we've tried um, salt, coffee, <coughs> tea leaves. Here's one assemble made earlier. Hmm, different. Assemble's bespoke fixtures and appurtenances have ended up here in a Glasgow gallery, awaiting the judge's verdict in the Turner Prize. Their products are also available to buy online, with the proceeds supporting Assemble's work back in Liverpool, where they've so far renovated 10 houses in Toxteth. And you can see their handiwork all around here. They fixed up young Shiloh's house, including the doorknobs on the cupboards. <laughs> she loves them doorknobs. <laughs> Not to mention a new fireplace, her mum's pride and joy, made out of crushed bricks and aggregate rescued from a skip. When I opened the front door and seen this contemporary, open plan, beautiful home, I was just, you know, very happy very happy with, with what they've done. And it's been done with a lot of um, thought. It's aesthetically, to me, attractive. Toxter, Liverpool 8, once the scene of riots, also suffered from ill-conceived housing policies, say people here. Families were uprooted and their homes demolished. Oh, I love coming back, because I feel as though I've returned. And Val and Young off. lives in another part of the city now, but still comes back to Toxteth. Well, initially in the estate that we were on, we were the only, uh, my parents were the only mixed race uh, couple. When you moved out? When we moved into Lee Park. Yes. Um, my mum always wanted to come back into Liverpool, and she, and she died, and she never got back to Toxteth. But I think there was always a sense of loss that she couldn't come back to the area and the friends that she met during her time here. So there's great goodwill here for Assemble's efforts to cheer up tiles and otherwise help restore this community. But does it amount to art? Where do we see the value in creativity in our, in our society? And is that inside the gallery or can it be really embedded in everyday life? And we definitely, you know, believe in the latter, whether you call that um, art or design or craft or, you know, anything, it doesn't really matter. But some art critics are unconvinced. Well, art's a hideous, pompous word, and when you start going around saying, this is not art, it makes you look a bit of an arse. But, but, but I think in this, in this case it isn't. It works very well as architecture. Why bring it in as art? Well, I think if you're just looking for stuff that isn't pretentious and it's useful, why don't you nominate B and Q or Oxfam? I mean, those are very worthwhile. I mean, I mean, there is a apparently one of the judges is very keen to push the idea of useful art. I think that it's it's great if art can be useful. Just because it's useful doesn't make it art. But as the Turner Prize givers mull their difficult decision, 
Let's leave the last word on Assemble's efforts to the people of Toxteth. It's recognising the politics in art, it's recognising the humanity in art. It's not this piece of work of art that goes into some rich person's warehouse. This is something that you live with and it's art for the people and if art isn't about people and humanity then what is it about?